Throughout the course of the show, every character on the Big Bang Theory made professional progress. Here is an accurate estimate of their salary. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The Big Bang Theory characters' careers are important to the plot of the show. Although it's never made clear how much Sheldon Cooper makes or how low Penny's wages were at Cheesecake Factory, it's simple to get a ballpark idea of the various TBBD character salaries by looking at the real-world salaries of those roles. Throughout its run from 2007 to 2019, the Big Bang Theory's popularity was largely attributed to the enjoyment of seeing the characters set off on their remarkable professional journeys. At Caltech, Sheldon, Leonard, Howard, and Raj are all highly qualified scientists. Penny, meantime, has a variety of performing roles and jobs. None of the characters seem to be very rich at first. Sheldon and Leonard live together in a Pasadena apartment with two bedrooms. Penny and Raj both live in one-bedroom flats. Howard and his mother continue to live at home. Nonetheless, the TBBD characters' salaries would have increased dramatically by the time all 12 seasons of the show concluded. Senior theoretical physicist Dr. Sheldon Cooper, Jim Parson, works at the California Institute of Technology. He earned his first PhD at the age of 16 and his second four years later. Sheldon is 27 years old when the Big Bang Theory premieres. It's likely that he has seven years of professional experience. Numerous examples demonstrate his tendency to be very giving with money. This implies that Sheldon may have some cash on hand. A senior theoretical physicist at a prestigious institution such as Caltech often makes around $100,000 per year. In season 8 of the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon gets promoted to junior professor in order to switch from studying string theory to dark matter. With this promotion, his yearly pay would have risen to almost $140,000. In the last episode of the show, Sheldon and his spouse Amy get a Nobel reward. In addition to the $1.1 million in cash awarded as a reward, Sheldon would have been in great demand by all organizations and would have earned a better income. Senior experimental physicist Dr. Leonard Hofstadter, Johnny Galetsky, works at Caltech. At the age of 24, he graduated with a Ph.D. from Princeton University. He does some significant work, such as participating in Stephen Hawking's North Sea trip and doing secret rocket fuel research for the military. In Season 6 of The Big Bang Theory, Leonard, Raj, and Sheldon are all considered for a Caltech tenure post, which would have come with a pay raise if accepted. With one PhD to Sheldon's two, Leonard would likely make less than his closest buddy, even though theoretical physicists at the same rank are often paid more than experimental physicists. Furthermore, Sheldon concluded that the majority of Leonard's work was derivative, but Leonard's pay is probably about $100,000 per year and stays that way for the whole series.